everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 51 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com. Um, we were supposed to review this today, Ocular, but there was a problem. Uh, the disc doesn't play. There's a big fat scratch. I hope you can see that. Well, they're kind of right there, right here. Anyway, uh, it's pretty, it's much more gnarly in real life than than it looks on camera, and it just wouldn't play. I tried it in two different DVD players, and no luck. So uh, we decided to go with a Sans Minds product, which you know what that means, fraudulent freaking advertising. Yep. Before we get to that, though, uh, I do want to show you the effect. Uh, this is a bent screwdriver that could be handed out. Um, look at it, bent. You can hand this out. And now, watch this. I don't know how long this is going to take, but just uh, a little bit of rubbing here, and it'll start to straighten out. Already, you can see it's straightening out quite a bit. Yeah, you like my presentation? Not exactly exciting. But you get the idea here of what this, what's possible here. Almost perfectly straight. A little bit more rubbing. And it's pretty darn straight. I mean, I can go a little bit more, but you get the idea of the of it. Um, so what you actually get is two screwdrivers. This is the Alchemist series self-bending screwdriver by Taiwan Ben. So you get two screwdrivers. This one's bent. That's its natural state. This one is straight. That's its natural state. Um, if you cool this metal off, you can bend this to where it straightens out. And then you can, I mean, like you do this, this is your prep behind the scenes. And I'm not exposing anything. I mean, in the ad copy, it says that it's, it's body heat activated. So um, anyway, so you cool it off and how you cool it, they tell you in the video. It's, it's not, I mean, it's simple, but it's probably not what you may be thinking. I don't know what you're thinking, but anyway. So you secretly, behind, before you start the show, straighten this one and or bend this one. Okay. So when you come in, uh, you'd have, and if they only are aware of one screwdriver at any time. Uh, so this one would now be bent and this one would now be straight. And then let's just pretend this is the one that is normally straight that I bent by cooling it off. Just by doing this, the body heat will actually start to straighten the metal out. Um, and then vice versa. If this were the, the one that's normally bent that I had straightened out with, by cooling it off by doing this, it would start to bend. Hopefully that made sense. That's how these work. Um, that's pretty much covered in the ad copy. I don't feel like I exposed anything there. Um, and they work great. You saw how it looked. And I think that looks great. And it works really well. And so, um, you know, if, for 129 <coughs> bucks, this is what you get. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm inhaling fumes in here. We've been painting for the past little while. Since my daughter left, she's uh, serving an LDS mission. Um my all the kids shifted rooms my oldest son moved into her room and then the boys one boy moved into his room and then the other one moved into that room and my daughter's moving my younger daughter is moving into the other room so paint fumes and sanding and dust all over the house anyway sorry about that so um for 130 bucks you get these two screwdrivers and the dvd uh and so if you like that effect where you're touching the metal <coughs> and it bends or unbends then this is this is great. Uh, the other thing too to keep in mind is if you're going to bend it and then unbend it, you got to do a switch, right? So you you take this one, you know, I previously behind the scenes would have bent it, and so I'd come out with it. Better, better said, I'd have this one cooled it off backstage or before the performance, straightened it out, and then come on stage with a straight screwdriver, bend it, and then bam, now it looks like this. And then I would do a switch for this one, which would also be bent previously before the show. And then I would unbend it the same way that I showed you at the beginning of the video. So if you're happy with that and you're willing to pay 130 bucks for it, you will be fine. Um, so let's talk about the ad copy. Um, the, the written ad copy was actually doing great. It was fine. Everything was accurate until the last two words. Literally, the last two words of the ad copy. The last line of the ad copy says, you can do it in your hands, or in their hands, or hands off. 
No, you cannot do it hands off. You cannot do it hands off. Now, the way this thing works, it's, it's temperature activated. Body temperature activates it. Uh, I just uh, took my son to work. He's about a five minute drive there and five minutes back. And before leaving, I took this screwdriver, cooled it off and bent it. You know, that, as if I were prepping for a show. I left it sitting on my table. When I came back after 10 minutes, um, it's pretty warm in my office. Uh, it had bent, it had straightened out a little bit, just a little bit. And so right before I did this video here, I went and cooled it off again and rebent it to show you the bent screwdriver. Then I did the performance for you. So in 10 minutes, it started to bend back because it was warm. That's as close to hands off as you're going to get. So what's the effect? You stand there for 10 minutes waiting for the room to heat up and then it bends. Give me a break. On top of that, did you watch the video trailer? They show um, <coughs> Chris holding the, the screwdriver and you see it just straighten up as he's holding it. Then there's another shot of Chris holding a screwdriver and you watch it bend as he's just holding it. B freaking S guys. It does not work that way. You cannot do that. It's just a load of crap. It's completely a lie. Yeah. I'm tired of Sans Minds doing this. If you guys are listening, I don't know who the people are behind Sans Minds. Herman, Jason, whoever. You guys need to pull your freaking heads out of your butts and stop lying to your potential customers. I've got people on magicreview.com that are telling me that they're done buying from you guys. They're done. They will never again buy from you because you've lied too many times. This is another case of a just outright lie. It's fraudulent. It's unethical. I mean, just stop it. Give an honest ad trailer, man. How hard is that? Tell the freaking truth. So, Jeff steps down off of his soapbox, but is still angry. I would have given this product five stars easily because the screwdrivers work awesome and they're very magical looking and it's very powerful. So, based on that alone, it would have been five stars. But because of the freaking crap and the lies in the ad copy, two and a half stars, stone status of grubble. The gym. The G from Grubble is the gem, which is these screwdrivers right here, these screwdrivers. The rest of it is the lies that is surrounding these screwdrivers and the less than good teaching on the DVD. Herman did okay, but the DVD was like, it, it was shot, it was weird. It was all out of order, and it was just little teeny segments that every other word that Herman said, they had to do an intro and an outro to that section, and it was, uh, it was just kind of... Um, like, uh, they were just trying to make chapters. Like, oh, let's make sure this video's got 10 chapters. And I'll explain everything in way too much, um, too many segments or whatever. I don't know what's going through their heads. And they were all out of order. They, the way they described it was confusing. And they were talking about stuff at the beginning of the video that doesn't make any sense until you get halfway through the video. Um, and then when Herman tries to give tips on um, performance techniques and advice... He just sounds like he's rambling on about stuff that he has no idea what he's talking about. How to be like Uri Geller and all this stuff. And he's just stringing words together that don't even make any sense half the time. Anyway, I'm not happy with these guys right now. Um, I, the only part that's good are these actual screwdrivers. So if you're willing to look past the lies in the ad copy. And if you're willing to look past the fact that the DVD isn't the best teaching that you're going to get. Um, and you just want these screwdrivers. Is it worth 130 bucks to you? That's that's your call. And um, do you want to support a company that's lied to you so many times? Me? No. At this point, I, I mean, I don't buy much magic anyway. I get it all free for review. Uh, but uh, I'm at a point where if, if I ever, you know, wanted to buy a Sans Mines product, I don't think I'd buy one now. You know, they got some older stuff that I never got review copies of that looked interesting to me. But I cannot trust them anymore. It's not even that I'm, I'm boycotting them on principle. I mean, I'm... I'm almost to that point. I just don't don't know if I can trust an old advertisement for an old product that I don't own to, to enough to buy it because they lie on their ad copy all the time. So that's it, guys. 2.5 stars. Stone status of grubble. Whew. Now it's time for you to like my rant. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is... <laughs> Hank Williams, the Honky Tonk Blues. I gotta kill some water here, guys. Hang on a second.
I love Hank, man. Love Hank Williams. Um, so, um, if you haven't noticed, my subscriptions on my channel, they've grown exponentially. Last year, uh, 2014, in January, I had maybe 100 subscribers. Um, this month, February 2015, just a little over a year later, I will hit the 1,000 mark probably in the next week. I'll hit the 1,000 mark, so watch out for that day. Somewhere around the time I hit 1,000, we're going to have a contest giving away a lot of Stone Cold Magic products. Those are my products. Um, and maybe a couple of items I reviewed. So look for that. And tune in tomorrow on day 52 where we do the Ninja Tossed Out Deck System by Patrick Redford. I'm looking forward to that. My friend Brad um, Skarnecki Gordon, he was over today and saw that. And he's like, you need to review that. I'm like, all right, we'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, that's it, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace out. <laughs>